Good afternoon. You thought I was going to say good morning, didn't you? Because here I am. I'm getting a very late start to the day. It's about 3 p.m. <laughs> I had one of those mornings where I went to Pilates, you know, I had kind of like a normal early morning. And then when I got back from Pilates, it was like all hell broke loose. <laughs> I just all of a sudden had like all these emails I just had to answer, just one-offs. I had a bunch of like stupid nuisances that I had to just take care of. I felt like I just needed to take care of them this morning for some reason. And then it was lunchtime. I made myself lunch. I play with butters a little bit. And then I, you know, got back on the computer and I was like, oh my God, what am I doing? I haven't even showered yet. So here we are. Here we are. The day is pretty much gone. However, we have an exciting evening ahead of us. I'm going out to dinner. The restaurant Cathedral opened up here in Vegas. I'm so excited. I've been to the one in New York, which was incredible. And so when I heard one was opening up here in Vegas, I was very excited. Uh, so we're going there. And then afterwards, I was invited to a Killian Paris party it's to celebrate their store opening but it's not at the store so they're opening a boutique here in las vegas i'm not actually even sure where it is i think maybe it's at the crystals mall i'm not positive though it could be at the win those are like two big places for a boutique like that anyway i was invited to the opening party for it which is at the barbershop at cosmo so i'm going i'm going out tonight ladies and gentlemen i am going out tonight the party starts at nine. I will be there at nine o'clock and I will probably be able to keep my eyes open until about 10. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I have to figure out what I'm going to wear and you know, whatever. I think the attire said like festive cocktail and I was like, festive cocktail? I'm like, I have pajamas, I have workout wear <laughs> and I have a bunch of linen dresses at this point. So we're gonna to have to dig out something that qualifies as festive. So I'm just gonna, quick get ready and then we can figure out what I'm gonna wear tonight. Okay guys, here is my outfit for the evening. I decided to go for that suit, <laughs> suit kind of look. Uh, so I just put on a white blouse and a black blazer from Kaz. This is the one that has that open side. I, I purchased this a while ago. And then I put on some Spanx pants to help me out for the evening. And then I have on my Prada Crystal Mules. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, I curled my hair with the T3 um, flat iron and I like the curls. I just don't like the way my hair looks like right in the front here. I don't know. I don't know if I should just leave it, stop fussing with it, or if I should tie my hair back. I don't know. Uh, I'm running late. I have about 20 minutes before I should call a car um, because I'm meeting my husband there for dinner and then we're gonna go to the event after. So anyway, I've gotta put on some makeup. Oh, let me show you the jewelry that I have on. I have my Lucifer Vera Nestis um, earrings, rings, and then I threw on my Lean Veeb skull ring. I thought that was very killy and appropriate. And then I threw on a Cuban link chain and then some longer chains, but you can't even see those unless they pour out. But anyway, it just makes me feel better that they're there. And ah, oh, I'm realizing I need to put on some Killian perfume. So let's go do that. All right. So I've got three Killian fragrances. I've got Intoxicated. I have um, Good Girl Gone Bad. This is the extreme version. I actually got this in store at Saks, I believe, because this wasn't available online, at least not widely. Um, but that one's really pretty. And then I do have, if you guys recall, where is it? If you guys recall, this is like one of my all time favorite fragrances, but I don't really talk about it that much anymore because it's not available here. Apparently it's only available in Russia or something. Anyway, I love, love, love this boys perfume. I think in this line, the only scent that they have still in the US is like princess or something. Anyway, I'm still angry, still angry about that. I think I'm gonna wear this tonight because if they say, ooh, I like your fragrance, Michelle, I'll say, ooh, then you need to bring it back to the US. So I'm gonna wear this. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like Coca-Cola. Oh my God, I love it so much. So I need a ham. I'm gonna bring my Celine bag because I'm gonna to need to bring this vlogging camera, my phone, some cards. Yeah, I think that's the only like evening type 
bag that will fit everything. All right, okay, my hair, my hair is either growing on me or it's calming down a little bit. I think it's that it's like a center part. I feel like very butthead-ish right there. I may still tie back. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put on the Dr. Jart BB cream because I am really loving this. I'm just gonna put it onto my BK Beauty brush. This is the 109 brush. It's like the mini version of the 101 brush. I think my all my 101 brushes, I have like three of them. I think they're all dirty. Let me throw on some blush. Uh, I guess I'll use the say peach, peach glow or the mauve glow? What do you guys think? I think I'll do the mauve glow because I'm not gonna do a really bright lip since I'm going out to dinner and you know, the reapplying, all that stuff. It's too fussy for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the mauve glow and then I'll probably use like a natural uh, color like lip gloss or something. So I'm gonna use that say brush, pick up some of this mauve glow. There. And then let's see, eyebrows. Put a little more effort into my brows than I normally do. So I'm gonna use the Surratt um, Brow Pencil. I have this in the shade Raven. This is such a good pencil. Okay, and then throw in some of the Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel. And then I'm gonna do a really simple eye. I'm gonna use this Platinum Pink Shade from Bobbi Brown and just cover my whole lid with this and blend out with my fingers. And use the Westman Atelier I Love You Eye Pencil. This pencil is really awesome. I don't think it sets down completely, but it did not smudge for me either. Very interesting. I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna use the Lancome Lash Edol Waterproof mascara and then for lips i'm going to use the Surat beauty lip luster in au naturel all right so i'm going to be using my celine bag tonight and i did just want to show you guys the condition it is in after using it for five days straight basically in new york it's really it really held up nicely and i'm you know i'm not the most precious with my things. I'm pretty clumsy and I really wasn't, you know, kind of babying this at all. And it's held up really, really nicely. I do see one ding and I think this is my fault. I think I put this ding into it. Can you see that, that like indentation there? I think I did that when I packed the bag because I didn't use this as a carry-on. I like I thought I packed it very carefully. I put it in a plastic, like a Ziploc bag and then in the dust bag and then I put it in my luggage and I thought there was like nothing around it or nothing that could actually like dent it like this but I'm guessing that's when this happened. I don't know when else this would have happened. Anyway, I'm gonna be using this tonight. It'll fit this camera <laughs> that I'm filming on right now. My phone, my wallet and I'm bringing my lip gloss clear brow gel because it's the only thing that'll calm my flyaways. Yeah, I've got a couple in the front. I'll probably do that between dinner and the event. And then floss, very, very important. Um, I'm also gonna bring a hairband in case I do decide that I wanna get my hair out of my face because it's already kinda, kinda bugging me. Um, and that's it. I think we're ready to go. I'm gonna call an Uber and let's head on out to the strip.
just finished up dinner. I hope you guys can hear me. It's kind of loud in here. But dinner was delicious. I had the sea bass. And we had the omelet to start. Can't remember what everyone else got, but it was really good. And now, we're walking through Crystals. We're heading over to the Cosmo, which is where the party is. The party is at the barber shop. And they gave us like a secret password and someone to, um, what do I say? Someone, someone to text to let us, to let them know that we're on our way. Sorry, I'm tired. And oh, here it is. So that is the boutique that we are celebrating tonight. I figured it opened up here in Crystals, but I wasn't positive. Last night was so much fun. Cathedral was beautiful and the food was great and the service was really nice. I ended up getting the Bronzino. I wanted to order the sea bass and then I noticed that it was $195 and I was like, either that's exceptional sea bass or it's not for just one person. Uh, so the waiter informed me that it was actually, you know, meant for two people, but we could probably have split it amongst the four of us. We were out with my uh, brother-in-law and his friend. And um, yeah, that, that just, that wasn't for me. No one else wanted the <laughs> sea pass. So I downshifted and got the Bronzino, which was incredible. It was like light and flaky and the ingredients were really simple. I think it was just salt, pepper, capers, and a little bit of lemon. Once the weather gets warm, a dish like that just really, really hits the spot. And then the Killian event was really, really nice. The barbershop is uh, very loungy, dark, as you guys could see, kind of had its, this uh, speakeasy feel. The DJ was spinning, spinning on his laptop. Um, like jazzy, uh, lo-fi, kind of like down-tempo kind of music. And yeah, it was just a really nice chill vibe, which I really enjoyed. They had an open bar, they had appetizers kind of going around the room. And uh, because we had gotten there so early, because we were there for dinner, uh, we had gotten there so early, we actually scored a couch. So we were just sitting there. I, I just didn't stay long, we stayed about an hour. There wasn't, not, that there wasn't much else to do, but I was just getting really tired. And because it was such a chill, cool vibe, I was starting to like just nod off and I just needed to get home. And leaving at 10 o'clock, I didn't get to bed until maybe 12, 12, 12 30. Anyway, very tired this morning, but um, I signed up for a stride class at eight o'clock. 
I did have the foresight to uh, schedule class at eight instead of an earlier one, which I would normally take during the week. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to be out the night before. Let me do the eight o'clock. So that's good. I still have a little bit of time. I'm just going to sit here and sip my coffee and do my wordle and just hang out and then we'll head on out to stride. Hey guys. Wow, this top knot's coming in strong this morning. <laughs> um, I think I left you the last time I vlogged. I was on my way to stride. That was, just to give you some time context, that was Friday morning. So Friday morning I went to stride and then that day, you know, uh, my assistant was here, we worked. It was just kind of a normal day. I didn't go out that day. I just ate in. And then Saturday, I woke up with um, like a, not, not so much like a tummy ache, but just like my midsection just felt really hard. <laughs> like I had been kicked in my midsection. I was like, oh, like what is going on? Got out of bed, you know, just was feeling a little off. And then all weekend, Saturday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, I was very sick. I won't get into details, but very sick with some sort of stomach thing. And it is now Monday morning. I'm finally feeling better, but I really haven't eaten anything in a couple of days. I still don't really feel like eating. I have no appetite at all. And um, I feel a little out of it, <laughs> a little out of it. And uh, yeah, I just, I'm like, I just need to get back to work, you know, like just kind of get my head on straight. Cause I, I'm at the point where I'm like, I feel like I could just lay on that couch and watch Netflix for like the rest of my life if I just continue doing so. So I'm like, let me, <laughs> let me just kind of like snap out of it and at least start vlogging and catch you guys up because yeah, it's been a while since, um, since I vlogged with you guys, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it could have been, you know, Thursday, as you guys saw, I did go out, but that was Thursday. Um, maybe I caught something then and it just finally kind of came about Saturday morning. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it was anything I ate because I think I would have had a uh, faster reaction. So I do think it was a bug, if anything. And I wasn't even that feverish until uh, Saturday night. All of a sudden I was getting like the chills and the sweats and the chills and the sweats. So yeah, just kind of a weird... <laughs> It's kind of a very weird weekend, that's for sure. Um, and if you guys uh, caught my favorites that went on on Monday, as you guys know, I usually put up my favorites on Sunday, but I just like could not get it together to even like, you know, do the thumbnail, the description box, all that stuff. So anyway, that just went up. But when you're watching this, it went up a couple days ago. Anyway, moving on, moving on, I did order... Um, a coffee maker because, <laughs> such a weird change in topic. I ordered a coffee maker because, oh, hold on, someone's texting me. I did order a coffee maker because, as you guys know, I have that espresso machine. And uh, if I do want regular coffee, I usually just make a French press. However, when I have guests over or like when Zeta's here, my assistant, it's just, it's like too fussy to make like a bunch of different French presses because I don't have like a giant one. Um, so I have to make a couple, if we both want coffee, I have to make a couple of them. And I'm like, let me just get just a normal, <laughs> normal coffee maker. So that uh, just arrived. Uh, let's go ahead and unbox that. So I got the Breville grind control. I actually bought this model for my friend Matthew um, when I was up at the lake and I really liked it. <laughs> so I thought I'd get one for myself. plugged it in and it came alive. Let me get the manual. <laughs> that is probably the smart thing to do. Oh, they do have a 
quick start guide that's always very handy. Okay, before first use, wash and dry all parts. Okay, definitely good advice. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, all the pieces have been washed. I have to put, oh, let me angle you up. I have to put um, coffee beans in the hopper here. And then I'm gonna install the basket. It is already in here, so that's good. Uh, we've gotta fill up the tank. Oh, neat, and it shows you how much water is in the reservoir. That's nice. So I think I wanna do like a single cup. I don't need to make a whole carafe or anything. So let's see. Oh gosh, it's in milliliters. Um, let me just do a quick Google. 350 ml to ounces. Oh, let's do 410. Let's just do 410. <laughs> I think that's going to be about 12 or 13 ounces. Strength, we definitely want it stronger. And I th think that's it. Ah, what's really cool is you can take out this little section here if you have a tall cup and you can put a tall cup in there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and it has this whole like, if you can see that there, this preheating and there's like a countdown letting you know when the cup is gonna be ready. I bought this machine for Matthew a while ago and I remember liking all the features. I just couldn't remember specifically what they were. Okay, all done. Smells pretty good. It's definitely really hot. Wow. Hmm, not bad. I think I have to choose a, uh, a higher strength or a stronger strength because I'm so used to drinking espresso, this tastes a little weak. Hey guys, I just showered and I actually put a little bit of curl in my hair. I'm really enjoying that T3 flat iron <laughs> that I've been using. It really, really makes like putting some wave in your hair just so much easier. Anyway. Wow, there is nothing like showering for the first time after being so sick. <laughs> really felt great. This was one of the best showers I've ever had. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you what I got while I was in New York. I had everything shipped home um, to kind of save on sales tax and to also not have to pack it in my suitcase. So I got a couple of things and then I did get a new handbag from Forward. So I did want to show you that as well. But let me first show you what I got in New York. All right, this first box, this is from Simone Rocha. So I walked into that boutique with my friend Julie and she was trying on all the stuff. So I really, I kind of got into it. I was like, oh, there are a few things that I like. So I started trying on some stuff. I think you guys may have seen in the vlog, I tried on this black blazer with these huge, black puffy sleeves and I loved it, but that was the only one left. It was a medium size. And so it was just a little bit like, a little tight in the waist. Like I could close it, but I'd really have to kind of stand up straight, suck it in. If I sat down, I'd have to unbutton it. Anyway, it was just a little bit too small basically. So um, the salesperson was telling me that they were coming back out with the style, but maybe in a different material. I think she said the sleeves were gonna be the same, but the body, of the jacket was gonna be coming out for fall winter and that it was gonna be more of a wool, like a wool tw tweed maybe? I don't know, I was like, yes, put me down on the list for that. So hopefully she'll contact me when that comes in. So as we were trying on all this stuff, the saleswoman told us that um, you know, the store was actually on sale, like marked down. So I think I got this um, blouse for 30% off. Ah, they included a Fun little note here. It says, so glad you were able to find something special from the collection. The embroidery on the shirt is Simone's interpretation of the Echinacea flower. Ooh, whose healing powers inspired a large part of the collection. Very cool. And she said that she'll be in touch when the new season arrives. Awesome. So it looks like they put the blouse inside of a bag here. Oh, wow. It's like a real bag, like, a, like an actual bag. <laughs> so cute. Oh, but this bag is really, it's really sweet. And here is the shirt. And this you saw me try on in the vlog as well. 
So just a plain white blouse and all of this is embroidered. It's so beautiful, it looks like a ribbon embroidery. And I did get this on sale, like I mentioned. I don't know, I don't think any of the pricing is on here. That's just buttons. Yeah, I'm sorry, they didn't leave any of the information on here, like the tag or whatever. So if I can find, oh, the size at least is an extra large. And if I can find this online, I'll link it down below. But let me go ahead and put this on for you guys. So here it is on. I did roll up the cuffs here, as always. <laughs> My arms are too short for any of these shirts. And I think this fits really well. This was the only one left in um, at the store. So I got the extra large. I was going to try on the large, but this was all they had. Um, and when I was at the store, I thought the, the stem leaf embroidery was black, but it's actually a very dark green. I don't know if you guys can make that out on camera. And this is the only logoing or brand ID that they have on here. It just says Simone Rocha up the, up the stem right here. As you guys know, I love a good white or black blouse. So this is a really nice kind of take on that. All right, so this is one thing that I got in New York. Okay, so this is the other shirt that I got from Tom Brown, and it's like a, it's like a shacket. It's meant to be very oversized. It has a drop shoulder. It has these oversized um, buttons here, which really makes it look like outerwear. It has this lower pocket, so it's not a breast pocket really. It's, you know, more like a pocket you'd find on a jacket, and it has the Tom Brown uh, red, white, and blue stripes along the sleeves, the back, and I just really, really loved it. They also had this in like a light blue color, but I have my Everlane boxy shirt, which you guys have seen me wear a gazillion times, which is like a light blue. It almost looks like, it's an Oxford cloth, but it looks like a chambray, like that kind of blue. And I was thinking about getting both, and I was like, no, Michelle, just get one. So I went with the white. So let me put this on for you guys. Okay, here is the shirt on. I think I just marked it up. I think I just got a little bit of a mark right there, so I'm gonna have to clean that off. But does, isn't this such a cool silhouette? It has these like low hanging sleeves. It's just really, really cool. I was really um, taken by like the silhouette of this. And it's a nice length, and I do think I can wear this over something as like a jacket if I wanted to, um, but I really like it closed up where you can really see like the oversized buttons. And then here's the low breast pocket or high jacket pocket. And these are adjustable if you wanna cinch this up a little bit, but I think I'll just leave it as is. So those are the two white blouses <laughs> that I got while I was in New York. Let me show you the bag that I got from Forward. So I mentioned this in my, um, not in my last video, but the last time I talked about a bag that I got from Forward, which is fwrd.com. And um, basically they loan me a bag every month and I, you know, return it. And if I don't return it, then I have to pay for it. Um, but it's nice that they let me pick out a bag and they trust me enough <laughs> to loan a bag out to me. So here is the one that I picked for this month. This is from The Row and it's this really beautiful hobo bag. And I believe the model name for this is called the Alley Bag. This I will definitely leave a link down below in my description box for these two blouses. I'm not sure if I can find online. If I can, I will leave links to them down below. Um, but this has an adjustable shoulder strap. I really liked that detail. So you can make it like close up underneath your armpit <laughs> if you wanted to. I have it on the uh, like longest setting, so it's hanging pretty low. And I just really like Oh my God, I wish you guys could feel this leather. It is like buttery, buttery soft. And let me just show you. This is the only logoing they have. Just this really subtle, the row um, embossing right there at the bottom. There's slight gusseting here. So it's a relatively flat bag, but a little bit of gusseting here just to give you a little bit of width. And I like the subtle details that we have. I really like how this strap looks like it's going into the bag there. Just really pretty. And then we take out the stuffing here. And then the whole bag is lined in, oh, like the leather on the inside is just as buttery soft. I really appreciate that. And then there's a zip pocket 
And then on the other side, there are two patch pockets here. And I really like this color for the spring summertime. It's, I think they call it sesame. It's just, it's so perfect. I don't really like bags that are too light, at least not every day. Um, and this to me is sort of like an everyday silhouette. So I wanted a, a color that was light, you know, for the warm weather, but not too impractical where it's just like either white or just off white. Those bags make me nervous. <laughs> I always feel like I'm not gonna be able to do what I need to do with those bags. But this has just enough like warmth in it that I don't think I'm gonna have to be too precious with this. Oh my God, I keep doing this because the leather is so, so soft, so soft. And this bag I think was around, again, I'll put the, the information, the details down below in the description box, but I think this bag was around $2,800. Not inexpensive by any means. But when I think about how expensive like Chanel bags are getting, how expensive Hermes bags have always been, um, and a lot of these other brands, this, like the quality of this bag, the quality of this leather, I just, I feel like this is al almost, it isn't, but almost a bargain because it's, oh, it's just so smooth and it's so soft, but it doesn't, at the same time, it doesn't feel like I'm just gonna nick it like really easily. It's just really, really smooth and buttery. And on the longest setting, I can kind of do crossbody. I don't know, maybe if I was like a little bit thinner, um, this could work. So, you know, I'm 5'5", five five, like I always say, I usually wear like a size 10, 12, or 14. So if you're smaller, I think you could definitely wear this as a crossbody. You know, if you're like a little bit shorter and also thinner, I think you could wear this as a crossbody more easily. I think I can, I think I can get away with it, but it's like, it's like right underneath my boobs. <laughs> so I don't know if that's very complimentary, but I think in a bind, if I needed something where I wasn't worried that it was gonna fall off my shoulder, I could do this. But just to show you, let me put this on the shortest setting, just so you can see how short you can make it. So this is like right up, right up in your pit there. But if you like something really close to you, really tidy, or if you're, uh, traveling, you're worried about pickpockets, and you like a bag like kind of close to you, then yeah, this the shortest setting I think you'll you'll like. All right, guys, I think that is it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one.